All right, so today we're going to lay out this uh, bottom plate for our wall. So what you need, you need your tape measure, you need a pencil, you need your roofing square or some other type of square. Now, uh, walls and the studs, what we're doing is identifying stud location on this bottom plate. Uh, and studs are spaced either at 16 or 24 inches on center. So I'm gonna lay this out at 16 inches. Now, you put your tape measure on and we're gonna go and we're always gonna reference off of the one end. Doesn't really matter, pick an end, uh, but we'll reference it off of it. Now, I'm gonna make all these markings at once. So if you remember, a two by four, the thickness of it is one and a half inches. So I'm gonna make my mark right here. Now, we're gonna move over. Notice on our tape measure, uh, our 16 inches on center, you're gonna have red numbers. That is at 16 inch increments. So that's all we have to look. But now that 16 inches is on center. That's where the center of the stud's gonna be. So we need to go back and we need to make two tick marks. We're gonna move back or subtract three quarters of an inch this way. And we're gonna add three quarters of an inch that way. That's where the stud's gonna fall in. Move on down here to 32. There's our next one. Again, mark back three quarter, mark forward three quarter. Move on down to the next red number that we hit, which is 48. So mark back three quarter, mark forward three quarter. Come on back. Next one we hit is 64 inches. So we're still doing the same thing. Mark back three quarter, mark forward three quarter. And moving this out, our next red number is 80. So mark back three quarter, mark forward three quarter off of 80. And that brings our last one over here to the end. We're at 92 and a half. So I just subtract an inch and a half right here. And that makes it uh, 91. Now we're gonna stay right here for a second. Now that we've got this marked, so I'm gonna come back with my framing square or my roofing square here. So we're gonna scribe a line. This is where a stud is. We'll mark that stud with an X. It's gonna come down to my next marks right here. So we're gonna mark this out. So we're clearly identifying where each stud is gonna go on this bottom plate so that we know. That way it'll make it easier for us to frame when we come and do this. So here's my next one. So X means stud now. When we get to more advanced walls, walls with uh, doorways or windows, uh, we'll have to come back uh, and that's when we'll start to put in king studs and trimmer studs and cripples. And we'll, uh, here we mark studs with an X, but when we get into those walls, uh, we'll be marking with a C or a T, depending on whether it's a king stud or a triple. So. So that's all you have to do to lay out this stud, 16 inches on center. Now we know exactly where those studs are gonna be. Remember when we frame it, we use two 16 penny nails to tie in these bottom and top plates to the studs.